Hey everyone, so today is going to be one of the tutorials I wanted to, sh to do for a while and that's called, uh, as, as you know from the title, FX Sync. So how to make the FX synchronize in 1941 onwards. Okay, so if you have anywhere version before that, you're not in a luck. So you need to upgrade to 1941 in order to be able to do it. And today I'm going to show you how to make it perfectly work uh in any instance okay cool so without further ado let me demonstrate to you how it works so what i do have is i have an effect uh running the it's just a standard generic uh park hands looking down and they're running at certain speed then i have another playback that i can run again afterwards and it will run with its own speed so you can see it's much slower speed than the top one but what I did was I actually connected them to the Speedmaster 2. So when the Speedmaster is activated like that, they will start running with a similar speed. So as you can see, even though originally they were running a different speed, which is perfect, that's really working fine. But then imagine you can see now that the effects are not really aligned. So they're not perfectly aligned together. So they're not synchronized, I would say. So how to make them synchronize? It's really fairly easy. All you have to do is, if you do everything correctly, uh, the way I, show, I will show you uh, in a moment, then it will work. I, all I do is I press Control and I press Tab, and then the effects go synchronized. And you may say, oh, okay, that works fine, but what if? Uh, one of the one of the effects is disrupted by some some another effect. So now you can see here. So I've actually disrupted the bottom group effect with another effect. As you can see, it's just a random effect. And then when I put it down, you can see they again became not synchronized. So again, how to synchronize them? I'll press Control and I'll press Tab and voila, they are synchronized. Again, before 1941, this was not possible to make it happen like that quickly. And now I will show you how to make it work. Okay, so how to make it work. Uh, let me just change to another page and I'll show you. So basically what I did was following. So if you select a group of lights and then for example you say add effects, intensity, let's say dimmer chase. And then you change the width of the effect, that's really nice. And uh, let's say we're going to go to 10% and we can actually set certain speed here. Let's say this speed. So it's a 60, uh, it's 100 beats, beats per minute and I will record that as my playback here. Now I will go with the next one, so I'll select that, add effects, intensity, dimmer chase, and I'm gonna make the width to be again same, let's say 10%, and I'm gonna keep it standard speed, okay, so it's at 25 bits per minute, and I'm gonna record it here. So now, how to make them to be synchronized to linked to the speed masters that were added in 1941? All you have to do is you have to go here, triple click your playback, the S button, then you go to the advanced, and in the advanced you say speed master will be speed master 6, for example. Okay? So then what you do is you go here and you change in advance Speedmaster 6 as well. So next one, we need to create a Speedmaster. So how to, how to do it? It's fairly simple. All you do is you press record and record an empty playback like that. Then you triple click the playback, go to the function and make this function to be a Q stack is a Speedmaster and make it Speedmaster 6. Okay. That's fairly simple and straightforward. That is enough for you to start working with. Now, if you run the effect, you run this effect, they are different. So first time you launch the playback, all you do is you tap twice, and then you will see they will start running with the same speed. You can do tap faster, they will go faster. But to synchronize them, you'll have to press Control and tap, and you will see 
they are synchronized together. So what other things we've added as well in the 1941? Uh, this is not full uh, full video I was planning to make, but basically when you have the Speedmaster running, you can of course control the speed of the effects, okay, or chases. Then if you press pause, you actually stop an effect. So it's nice if you're doing some show and then you need to stop it. Go will uh, run the effect. Uh, tap uh, the, the flash button will tap to time. And uh, this button, and if this is selected, you press release, it will be released. But also running, if you use shift button and then press pause, you actually slowing down uh, as a half of the speed. Another shift is it's going to be quarter of the speed. But if you go the other way around, hold shift and press go, it will go running up to double the speed. So two, time, two times the speed is the fastest one you can do. And of course, you can always control it with the fader. And whenever you finish, as soon as you release it, you will see it will run back to its own time that you've set in the original playbacks. So that means the time you've set with the Speedmaster has not affected it permanently. It's only temporarily. But now, as you launch the first one, you now you, all you do is you go again and press go. And now the effects are running same speed. Press control and then you can synchronize. The other cool thing you can do is you can also create an execute window. Actually, the, the, the FX sync button here on the execute window. So instead of uh, making, for example, using it here, you just want to make a button that can be triggered, for example, from MIDI or OSC. What you do is you select any slot here and then you press assign special Speedmaster speed master 6 and then you have an option called resync. So when you have it, as soon as you run it, um, Ah, because it's not activated. So as soon as you act activate and run it, you will see it's going to start working. And again, you can actually bring the other functions like I did here. Assign special, Speedmaster, uh, Speedmaster 6. So you have 100 Speedmasters. Uh, you can tap to time on the top. Uh, next one, I would normally do uh, Speedmaster 6 enable. And the next one will be uh, Speedmaster 6 hold. That's it. That's that's simple as it is. You can pause it. Uh, so if you if you, uh, first you need to activate it, then you can uh, hold it, then you can tap the time here, and you can resync it. So the cool thing here, because when you put it on the execute window, you can actually control those things from MIDI or from OSC, from external sources as well. <laughs> Hope that was useful. Again, this is not full Speedmaster video that you can find. I may do it separately, but this is the one, uh, this is a really nice feature I want to show you, which is called FX Sync. Hope that was useful for you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.